Hello, Kev Edwards and Rally here. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the best way for you to enjoy Richard Burns Rally in 2022. Um, let's not beat it around the bush. It's Rally Sim fans. Everyone who's sort of in the RBR community is talking about it. Everyone's switching to it. Uh, 2022 is going to be a massive year. For, for these guys, it's a Hungarian plug-in. Um, 2021 was a massive year anyway, but they've continually improved uh, the plug-in. They've got more and more features. They're adding more features all the time. They're just taking it to the next level um, for RBR. A lot, of the, um, a lot of the championships from the Czech plug-in are switching over or have switched over for 2022 vrc have just um i think they've announced that the coming over permanently i don't know if it's just a one-off rally and they're gonna weigh it up uh, or if they've already made that decision it's still sort of going on in the background now um, but from what i read before it looked like they made the decision and they're switching over to um, the hungarian plugin the rally sim fans plugin um so if you're new to rbr i'm gonna go through some of the uh, some of the sort of ish, the, the, the names of things that you might hear and uh, different plugins and stuff so um, the differences between them so what you'll hear a lot is NGP6 uh, NGP6 are the physics are the, the latest physics of the cars that are made by a guy called Workerby um, so he's not part of Rally Sim fans itself or the Czech plugin itself. He does his own physics. The NGP is sort of his baby, and the likes of the Czech plugin, the Rally Sim plugin, use his physics because they're the best ones around. Um, where could be does actually work close with Rally Sim fans. He's um, he's helped them a lot. They've helped each other a lot. They've they created the service park together which is being integrated into rally sim fans so there's a good relationship between the rally sim fans guys and a lot of the important modders out there uh, because rally sim fans have got respect for these guys so they sort of um they give it back whereas other other plugins not necessarily so um you might also hear um rbr pro um, a lot of people mistakenly think that RBR Pro is its own plugin, um, but it's not. It's a launcher. Um, so RBR Pro launches into the Czech plugin. Um, so the Czech plugin has been around for a long, long time. It was the the best plugin for 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 a good while, um, and it's still a great plugin to play. You can still got a lot of features it's been going for a long time but it's not getting updated anymore the guys behind it i think have sort of lost the interest and don't really put any effort in anymore um so it's not it's not being developed it is what it is and it's not going to improve or get better over time it's just it's just it's just the check plugin and that's it and that's why a lot of people are starting to switch over so we've for instance, if uh, Wakerby releases any cars, any new cars, which he's doing frequently, it can take a while for the Czech guys to put the cars into the Czech plugin. Um, whereas with Rally Sim fans, because they're so on the ball and they're updating all the time, within pff, less than a day, normally within hours, the uh, the RS the Rally Sim fans guys have got the cars already implemented into the the rally sims plugin um so that's another that's another reason that you want it it's a one click install as well pretty much so you just go on the website uh, jason murphy has done uh install guide um so if you do need any help you can you can look at the install guide he'll go through a load of features and stuff uh, and help you along with it but it's basically you just basically download the installer pick what options you want and run it and that's got everything included it's got rbr included so you don't have to you don't have to find the original game and install that and anything this is an all-in-one this is all you need so 
you've never played RBR before, you want to play RBR, you download this, install it, it's got everything that you need. Um, in the past, so with the likes of the check plugin, uh, I tell you what, let's go into, let's, let's load into the game and I can show you a couple of things uh, why it's so good. So you get this launcher, I'm going to do a separate video on this launcher, going through everything, uh, going through all the different options and um, what everything does uh, to help you get started because that's got literally everything you need on that launcher to set the game up. Uh, so you in the olden days you'd have to go into files and change files and change any settings you don't really have to do that anymore um so if you're playing czech and if you're playing rally sim fans what you'll find is the cars are the same the physics are the same because they're all using worker bees physics so there's no difference in physics or cars between the two um the F mod sounds as well, which is uh, sort of, it uses real car sounds um, rather than the original RBR, uh, the RBR sounds. They are also there done by another team that aren't to do with e each individual plugin either. So if you hear an F mod, that's, a, that's the same thing as the physics where Rally Sim fans and Czech are using the F mod, but again, the F mod guys are working really close with the Rally Sim fans guys because same thing as I said, it's you know respect for each other. Um, so all that is the same. What you will get with the difference between Czech and Rally Sim fans is the championships and how the championships are, are set up. So um, all the Rally Sim fans championships are its own individual um it's its own that's where the difference in the plugin comes so you can't like compete in a championship in rally sim fans and it's and it be on the check plugin as well it, that's two separate things and two separate ways of uh, running things and this is getting updated all the time originally it didn't have a service park um you'd put your leg in and the car would automatically fix after that leg. That's gone now. They've actually got a proper service park, uh, and it's it's in my opinion it's better than the check service park because you've got roadside services, so you can have you can put in like a two minute service or a five minute service service, uh, which is to um, replicate drivers driving in between stages and having like five minutes to you know do a, a quick repair on the car before the next stage. That is also getting improved in the background. That was this is only the first uh, iteration of that that we've got. The Rally Sim fans guys are already planning on improving it by making it a bit more realistic. At the minute, you could fix your whole car in a roadside surface as if you've got every part and every tool there. You'd take a massive penalty, um, so it wouldn't be worth doing. But you can still do it which is obviously unrealistic in real life they might have a couple of spare wishbones bits of suspension in the back of the car and that's it um so again it's the rally sim fans are improving stuff all the time um the other uh, i won't really go into like the championships now it's how it's done basically the light blue is like uh, daily stages that change every day and go on a scoreboard on a website. Blue is championships that you've got to register for. Red are password lock championships. Green are open championships that you can jump in and uh, do anything. But uh, as you can see, there's a, a host of championships there. And again, with uh, rally sim fans, anyone can set up a, a rally. So you can go in, you can create a uh, tarmac rally gravel whatever you want to do uh, and anyone can join it and race in it whereas Czech you've got to pay them I think it's like 8 euros at the top of my head um, to gain access to be able to do that so everything in, in uh, rally sim fans is free some features in Czech you've got to pay for um, basically just to set up the rallies I think that's all you've got to pay for Um so the other thing with uh, RSVAR as well is every car 
every uh, is already pre-installed as long as you pick to download everything every car is is already installed in the game in check you can only have six if I, if I remember right six cars installed so when you're in game you can only flick through those six games uh, six cars if you want to put more cars in you've got to go out of it and put a different set of six cars in the the CIT tool it's called car installation tool um, you don't have to do that in RSR every car I can pick every car that's available and go for it um, and the F mod is already installed on each one so if there's an F mod it'll be here uh, but you can say like there's a car that hasn't got an F mod so the Toyota for instance 2018 there's no specific F mod for that I can pick um, I can pick one of, one of the other ones so like 2019 it's another WRC car around the same year so I'll pick that um, so that is already pre-installed uh, you've got some setups that are already installed as well and um, predetermined setups um, got online time trial practice modes uh, utility car manager you can reset everything if you make any sort of mistakes uh, you've got all your options in game as well so your auto login which is obviously what you want show your splits if you want your shit 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 <laughs> if you want your splits to be shown in game um, so all your options are here in game really easy that's the amount of splits shown so I like to have uh, three splits so it'll be uh, the three people quicker than me I think it is or no, it's the person quicker and the person slower than me. That's all I want. That's all the information I want. And even looking at that for a millisecond, sometimes I crash. So splits, <laughs> splits can be a bit of a pain in in the in the ass. That's how long they're showing for. So seven seconds. For me, it'll show up for. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, download mod. That's all stuff that you want. Uh, auto gear. Not sure what that is actually. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, gasket fix, that's something you want. 3, 2, 1, countdown, pause. That's um, where you have to pull your handbrake to start the stage. Otherwise, the stage will just start. And if you're on a hill, you might roll down the hill and get a false start if you're not paying attention. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. So, basically, that's the difference between the sort of the plugins and some of the stuff that you might be hearing if you're new to RBR. So yeah, all I can say is for me it's a no brainer. Download Rally Sim fans. It's so easy. Another thing with RBR Pro, I don't want to go into the politics of of that launcher. You've got to pay f for certain features. A lot of a lot of his stuff is locked behind paywalls. And at all RBR Pro is, like I say, it's a launcher. It launches in to RBR Check. So RBR Check isn't really improving. So RBR Pro can't really improve. All it does is mainly have um, other... It just makes it easier to... Other people's mods uh, are in the launcher. So you can select other people's mods a little bit easier some without permissions so there's there's, yeah, there's a lot of politics behind it um, and then I think RBR Pro has its own tournaments as well which also run on RBR Czech so nothing on Pro is like original it's own it's it's a, it's own thing it's all it's all it's all using Czech plugin it's using NG, uh, Worker Bees NGP 6 physics I think a lot of people in RBR Pro and how it's sold and think that RBR, like everything that RBR Pro is is all down to RBR Pro when it's not it's it's using like it's using Wakeby's physics it's using the check plugin for the tournaments a lot of the mods are like other people's mods um, you know it has got some of its own features got like a navigator co-driver feature I think that is that belongs to RBR Pro. Um, I 
think that's it to be honest i'm not sure what else uh, but yeah that's just uh, my eyes are going really tired for some reason um so that's yeah quick uh, a quick guide to rbr in 2022 best way to get it installed it's it's as easy as it's ever been to get involved in rbr now it's it's up and cut it sounds mad to say it but even after like 18 19 years however long it's been up for it's still hitting other levels and it's 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 on another level now where it's just yeah it just it gets better and better and better all the time and it's it's in a brilliant place now where it's it's the easiest it's ever been to download it's the easiest it's ever been to get involved in it you don't have to go into loads of files anymore it's you know everything's there on the launch yeah all like your basic settings are all there to to pick and you can just get rallying almost straight away so it's yeah i definitely if you're thinking about rbr download the rally sim fans get involved it costs nothing it's all free one click downloads no messing around with loads of files anymore so yeah definitely uh yeah hope to see you on the stage soon and make sure you give it a go um i'll catch you on the next video don't forget like subscribe and uh, add the discords as well if you uh, if you're not sure on a few things make sure you check the discords out the rally sim fans discord the rbr zone discords etc so uh, yeah see you soon on the next one